Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. Doing a very quick tutorial this morning. Um, what we're going to look at is a quick tip on how to save your overexposed photographs. Okay, so looking here, I've got a picture of my dog once again. Um, he's not quite that small anymore. So this picture is a little overexposed. Okay, so, um, you know, there's, there's definitely things we can do to, to fix this. There's lots of techniques. I'm going to show you one. Here's where it might get troublesome because um, I don't know how much information is actually there. It looks pretty white. If something is completely 100% white, you can't do much with it. If there's shades within that white, then we can uh, then we can bring it back. So let me show you that, this quick tip. This takes literally 30 seconds. So I'm going to take come here on the layers. I'm going to drag it and make a new layer out of it. So I got two layers. And I'm going to change the um, blending option to multiply. Look at that, we've already got more color. It's still slightly overexposed, I think, so I'm gonna duplicate that layer again. Okay, now it's a little strong, so the second layer that I made, I'm just gonna drop the opacity until I'm kinda happy with it, just like that. Okay, now what I can do is come up here and adjustment layer, we're gonna give it curves. I'm gonna drop the white a little bit. Again, trying to drop a little white. We're gonna bring the black slightly up too and, and just play with the curves until you're kinda happy with it. I kinda like this. So as you can see, we brought the green in better. Um, there's obviously more definition, more darkness in the black. We're, you know, here we're still getting a pretty strong white, but unfortunately, that's just, you know, that's just the way it was. The picture was a little too overexposed. Okay, but one more thing we can do because the more you do this, the more you add layers and put on a multiply and add a curves, you tend to saturate the colors. So the last thing we can do, come up here to adjustment and add a hue and saturation, and we're just going to drop the saturation down a little bit because you know this is pretty it starts at a pretty strong green we just want to drop it slightly okay so I mean I'm pretty happy with this result here if you look back at the original photo that's what we started with that's that's what came right out of the camera and we bring it to this so not a not a perfect picture obviously there's a lot more I could do to retouch this image but you know fairly good and we've pretty much saved. I think we've saved this photograph and um, it's not one that you need to delete Okay, thanks for watching. That was a very quick tutorial. Um, follow me on Twitter. Please comment below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, any Photoshop tips you'd like to know. Comment below, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Rob Baldwin. Thanks for watching.